Welcome back to Fox and Friends. The computer repair shop owner who turned in Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop to the FBI now says he's on the verge of bankruptcy. John Paul Mac Isaac claiming it comes after months of liberal intimidation campaign against him, telling the New York Post, quote, I have been punished for my actions to set an example for anyone else that might try to blow the wrong whistle. Fox News contributor and New York Post columnist Miranda Devine is on the case in her book, Laptop from Hell, and she joins us now. Miranda, always so great to have you on the show. Good morning. You too, Rachel. Um, so this really steams me because this guy, in fact, did a favor to the country. He uncovered all of this corruption, many of it having possibly national security implications, and he's harassed, he's got death threats, he's going bankrupt. Meanwhile, Hunter Biden's get, gotten richer. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's incredibly unfair, Rachel. Uh, this is a man who really is an American hero. He's yes. a patriot. He's someone who saw wrongdoing on that laptop, and instead of keeping quiet about it, he decided that he would blow the whistle. Uh, he looked for someone to tell. He tried various Republican congressmen, got no response, finally got through to Rudy Giuliani. And since then, uh, his life has been turned upside down. He, uh, to this day, has not got his business back. He had to leave his home in Delaware and go to another state. He's been targeted by death threats and harassment by the IRS and various other agencies. Um, and, you know, to make matters worse, he tried to sue Twitter for defamation. He lost, and then he had to pay Twitter's legal fees as well <sighs> as his own. So he's tens of thousands of dollars in debt will probably have to declare bankruptcy and yet he's such a good person that he says he would do it all again he his only regret is that uh, you know the story that the New York Post ended up uh, publishing before the election was censored and never had the effect uh, that he had hoped it would yeah no he truly is a patriot now people may not realize uh, or remember but he's also disabled I believe he's blind Miranda correct Yes, he's he's legally blind. He's legally blind. Uh, I mean, he can see he can see well enough close up to do the very fine work that he does repairing computers. Yeah. Um, but yes, I mean, he can't you know and, drive a car and and it's difficult for him to get around. Yeah, well, he applied for benefits and um, he wasn't getting his unemployment benefits. He went all the way to Senator Coons in of Delaware. Um, so w the government has been weaponized against him at every level, as you mentioned, big tech. Um, I'll leave you really quick with the last word because I'm very concerned about the way um, he's been attacked, especially by government. Yes, look, he strongly believes that there are various agencies in government that have targeted him uh, and in retaliation for his blowing the whistle on the Biden family and their involvement in corruption, particularly in Ukraine. Um, and so he uh, is speaking out now in the hope that that harassment will stop. Yeah. He also has a book that he wants to write, which we're hoping to get published for him. Oh, I hope that happens. Well, I'll tell you, Miranda, my, my colleague Pete Hegseth said that uh, he should just open a shop and say who he is in another red part of the country, and he'd probably get a lot of customers. All right, Miranda. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us this morning.